Hi, I'm Chris Hess, Director of Engineering and Technical Services at Harrington Hoist. Welcome to another edition of Lessons Unlifted. Hello, I'm Nick Pagano, an engineer at Harrington Hoist. This is Lessons on Lifting, and today we'll be looking at our VFD-operated bridge control panel. The VFD in our panel allows us to control the speed and torque of our intruck motors by varying the frequency and voltage. Before doing any work on the bridge control panel, ensure that your input voltage matches the panel requirements and that your plugs are in the correct arrangement. Also be sure to read the owner's manual, specifically section 5 on safety, and also for today, section 12 on programming. For the VFD itself, there are a number of parameters that allow the user to adjust many aspects of the bridge's motion, 54 to be specific. These are broken down into different groups, or banks, A, L, E, and U. The A bank controls things like high and low speed. It's the most common adjustments you might make in the field. The L bank controls more general parameters, like the range of frequencies the motor will operate, or how the VFD reacts during certain conditions. The E-Bank will provide error feedback and assist in troubleshooting the VFD. And finally, the U-Bank houses the gang settings that allow us to set a number of parameters at once. When you receive the panel from Harrington, it'll come set as two-speed infinitely variable control. This allows us to set a minimum and a maximum speed. As well, the operator can maintain any speed in between. When the operator depresses either the forward or reverse button, the motors will accelerate to the set low speed. When the same button is further depressed to the second step, the motors accelerate to the set high speed. If at any point in between the button is returned to the first step, the motors will hold that speed. If the button is then released, the motors begin to decelerate. Finally, if the button is then depressed to the first step, the motors will again maintain that speed. We can easily modify the minimum and maximum speed, as well as the acceleration and deceleration rate by adjusting the various A parameters. Consult your owner's manual for the full range of adjustable parameters. To access the bank of parameters you wish to modify, power up your VFD and hold the scroll button down. When the bank is displayed, let off the scroll button. By tapping the scroll button again, you can access the exact parameter you wish to modify. A12 is our minimum speed, displayed as a frequency. To change this speed, you now increase or decrease the speed by pressing these buttons. To modify a parameter in the same bank, you then tap the scroll button again. A16 is the maximum speed of our end truck motors. Again, the speed can be adjusted by pressing either the increase or decrease buttons. When all the modifications are complete, hold the scroll button down until R off is displayed. We can now see the changes that we've made. The low speed is now 7 instead of 6, and the high speed is now 59 instead of 60. The same procedure can be used to modify all of the parameters in the VFD, provided the unlock code is entered before altering any of the L or the U parameters. Consult your owner's manual for this procedure. Harrington's VFD-operated bridge control panel can be a powerful and valuable tool to assist you in your material handling needs. Learning to program it will ensure the crane optimally performs for whatever the situation requires. Thank you for watching. That concludes another edition of Lessons on Lifting. And thanks for joining the revolution.